And I'm going to ask Mark Romani to come up and talk to us. And again, Mark's going to introduce himself. Director of Policy and Communications with Chambers Ireland, which is the National Chamber of Commerce. Um, after some of the inspirational submissions this morning, I'm going to be talking about something a little more prosaic. It's uh, where to go if something goes wrong. But I just want to give you a brief outline of what we consider to be a good option for your business. If Hopefully, this looks like a pretty, pretty good room, so I don't think you're in dispute at the moment with any of your customers or suppliers, but if you do have a dispute, this is an option you might consider as opposed to sending the solicitor's letter or, or calling Liveline or what seems to be our, our traditional approach to dispute resolution in Ireland. This is the business and commercial mediation scheme. That's our network of chambers of commerce. I'll skip through that. Our role in alternative dispute resolution, we're ICC Ireland. We've been nominating Irish arbitrators, solicitors, barristers, engineers to international disputes for decades. So if there's a major international commercial dispute, um, either business to business or indeed state to business. For example, if a company has a contract to build a dam or a piece of railway infrastructure, if something goes wrong, where do you go? You don't go through the courts. It, as we all know, it costs an absolute fortune. It'll take you decades. You may not get the result you want or a just result from a national court if you're dealing with a state, if you're dealing with a semi-state or a, a large company. So you go to an impartial arbitration or mediation center. Uh, the one we operate with is based in Paris. And for some major disputes, we've been either advocating the use of Irish representatives or indeed taking some of these disputes to, to Dublin. That's basically our legacy or our, 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 I suppose our heritage in terms of ADR. Um, if there's anybody here in the construction industry, it's been, ADR has been predominantly the means for dispute resolution in the construction industry for years. And we're trying to promote other business sectors, other types of business to, to use it. So this should be the first place you go to, as opposed to your, the four courts. And why are we promoting commercial mediation particularly? We've seen the success of alternative dispute resolution for the larger firms. Most of the big companies, particularly the FDI companies in Ireland, will use this as their first port of call. They'll often have their own in-house mediation and arbitration teams that will liaise with uh, external legal representation. But they've long recognized that heading down to the four courts, spending an absolute fortune, maintaining or retaining representation, um, essentially you're on a hiding to nothing. I mean, I've heard one description of it where you're just waiting for the, the opponent. One of you is going to go bankrupt. Who's it going to be first? And that's where you're going to get your victory. Mediation is becoming uh, the norm in Europe. Um, in Italy, in fact, there's many types of commercial disputes where it's mandatory that you have to go to mediation. You don't have an option to go to the courts. By law, you have to mediate first. Um, and there was some, I suppose, opposition to that. But in fact, it's taken a huge burden away from the courts, and companies have saved a huge amount of money. They're no longer spending their time kicking their heels outside a courtroom, waiting for a judge, um, and then get back to what they should be doing, which is focusing on business. And that the third one is interesting, I think because it's become an issue in terms of national competitiveness. Although we are trying to position ourselves as the best small country in the world to do business, we perform quite poorly in terms of enforcement of contracts, both in terms of cost and time. So it's really holding us back in terms of World Bank rankings. If you are to enforce a commercial contract in Ireland, the cost and time are about the seventh and eighth worst in the OECD. So whereas we perform quite well in terms of taxation, regulation, human capital, if something goes wrong and you need to enforce your contract, you're going to pay a lot of money and it's going to take you a lot longer than it should do. And that's not just for the big companies. This is for smaller businesses as well. This is for your disputes with your contractors, disputes with suppliers, shareholders. If some of you are operating in small companies with partnerships, this is exactly where you need your commercial mediation because the last thing you want to do is head down to the courtroom with your shareholders or your partners for a small business where you're going to have to be back in Monday morning working with them for the business to succeed in all likelihood. The main challenges, I think, to commercial mediation in Ireland, we have an adversarial tradition. We like to send off the writs. We like to send the solicitor's letter. Bill, I'm sure, has uh, some good stories in, in that vein. Uh, quality control, there is a little bit of a, I suppose, almost anybody can set themselves up as a mediator. For example, I could call myself a mediator and open a practice tomorrow. I could offer my services as a commercial mediator. 
it's not necessarily a, a standard that a potential customer um, wants. They need to know that there's quality out there. The relative costs, a mediator might quote you anything from 100 euro an hour, 2,000 euro an hour, depending on how they feel their services are, are value, to be valued and, and the type of case. And finally, the other opposition, and apologies to, to Bill and the other lawyers in the room, the, the lawyers, the legal profession can sometimes be the biggest blockers um, to, to mediation. So as a Chamber of Commerce, we, we decided what can we do to offer commercial mediation to smaller business? So it's not just the, I suppose, an avenue open to larger businesses or international contracts. So we worked to establish the commercial and business mediation scheme, business and commercial mediation scheme. And I'm happy to say that, as you have seen from the slide earlier, we actually got terrific support from the legal community. The, the Law Society, the barristers, the Chartered Institute of Arbitrators, the Mediators Institute of Ireland, and importantly, the court service. So this, is, this scheme has now become almost an annex of the court system. They're promoting it. Um, the judiciary are hugely supportive of it. We've had some very strong support from some very high-profile judges. So all of this is just formalizing that this scheme is available and open and it's supported by the legal bodies. So this isn't something that we're running as a sort of a private operation. This is supported by the, the, the public sector and the judiciary. It's very, very simple. I'll just quickly run through it, just to give you a sense of if you are ever in dispute, or if you know any, any companies or that may have a dispute or potential dispute, contact your local Chamber of Commerce or contact Chambers Ireland directly. We deal with a, an expert panel. Uh, of commercial mediators, and this is to address the issue I mentioned earlier on quality control. So we have a very, very small panel of experts. Some of them are former judges, some are senior counsels, experienced commercial litigators, experienced commercial mediators. Once we have a little bit of an understanding about what your dispute is, we can nominate the most appropriate mediator, someone who is experienced. So you're not going to be picking, getting somebody who doesn't necessarily understand the business world or your sector. <coughs> There's a free information session where these uh, the mediators will discuss the case with you, discuss your business, discuss what your outcomes, what outcomes you'd like to get. Um, after that, you'll be given an estimate of time and costs. And by agreement with the associations, this is being offered at a below cost rate for a, a short period of time. So um, there's, there's no obligation to, to proceed. It's a, a yes, no answer then. If you wish to proceed, the mediation goes ahead and hopefully the dispute will be mediated. If not, you can just walk away. You've learned a little bit about mediation. Maybe you've learned something about the dispute or some, even some strategies you can bring back to your own legal representation. But um, there's, there's no obligation to participate. And all it takes is a phone call or an email to get it started to us. The benefit to you, it's completely transparent. You'll be given, as Bill said, you'll be given a cost and an estimate of time up front before you need to make any decision. Um, the costs will be below market rate, and they will certainly below, well, in all likelihood, below what you'd pay if you went to litigate. Um, and that's a, generally accepted as a, as a benefit of alternative dispute resolution. It's quick. Typically, I'm not a, a, an ADR expert, but we hear stories that very, very complex commercial mediations can sometimes be done in three to four days. So that's back to business as opposed to waiting around for a court date. And again, quality guaranteed. The, the person dealing with your, your dispute will be someone who's got many years experience in commercial mediation specifically. So there's, there's no risk in terms of what you're getting. That's the final plug. If you'd like more information, chambers.ie or mediationmeetjudges.eu, which will give you some information on mediation schemes across Europe. Um, and again, you may not be, have a commercial dispute at the moment, but just think of possible disagreements with suppliers, contractual disputes, disputes with other shareholders, or if you're in a partnership. Rather than going down and sending off the solicitor's letter, just give us a call and we may be able to give you a, a very cost-effective and a quick option, but more importantly, one that will hopefully maintain your relationship with the other party into the future. Thank you.